What's going on, family? You guys are so amazing. Listen, I want to say thank you uh, because you take the ride with us each and every week as we bring these videos to you that motivate you, inspire you, and also have an impact into your lives. It's because of you that we're able to fulfill our mission, and that's to empower the world to never give up. Do me a favor, like and share this video now. We're going to talk about something so epic that the whole globe has been talking Kobe about. Kobe Bryant's death it was tragic. It was sudden and it was very unexpected. There's so many people that's trying to be so spiritually deep about this situation, trying to figure out what happened. Uh, did God allow this to happen? Why did God allow this to happen? Can you explain it? Uh, but some things God allows to happen, uh, it, it needs no explanation. It doesn't require an explanation. Let me show this with you why. Because some things God will allow to happen to grab our attention. And how do you know this to be sure? I know this to be sure, because all around the globe, the world has paused. One man has paused the whole world to take an analytical look at how you're loving the people that's close to you. Even Shaq went on ESPN and broke down and cried and shared his story and said that I wish that I had reached out even more. And he said that he's gonna do a, a step further and start reaching out to everybody that's close to him even more. One man tragic's death has stopped the whole globe and made you reevaluate how you treat the ones that are really close to this whole situation the whole tragic ending of kobe bryant's death and also his daughter and also the other um, occupants that were on the helicopter uh, it made me think about this one question why is it in death do you reevaluate your relationships or the love that you give to people or the unforgiveness that you have in your heart. Why does it take for one to lose his life or to lose her life for us to reevaluate how we treat other people or better yet, how we love the ones that are close to us, how we love our family members, how we love our spouses, how we love our children. Does it really take death to remove the scales from your eyes to see, hey, I need to do this better. I need to love better in this area. I need to check on people more. This is what I want to charge each and every one of you. Don't wait until something tragic happens for you to reach out to somebody. You can start reaching out to somebody right now. Stop allowing grudges. Stop allowing things that happened in the past. Doesn't matter if it was two weeks ago that happened, if it was a month ago, was a year ago. Stop allowing petty arguments to keep you from the very one that you know you need to embrace. You never know what people are going through. You never know what's going through the mind of somebody else. So I want to share with you, stop allowing pride to hinder your process of moving forward and reconciling a situation or relationship. I did not know Kobe. I did not know his family. I did not know people that was connected to him personally. But one thing I can say with confidence and I can take to the bank, he did not see himself transitioning from last week. He didn't see this coming. I guarantee he didn't plan for it, didn't say next week's gonna be my last week here, so I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. He didn't see it coming. Why? Because we don't know the hour, nor the day, nor the minute, nor the second that we will transition to this other life. Make all this make sense, AOS. You never know when your last breath is going to be. I wanna share with you. Live life to the fullest right now. And it's all great. Save your money. Invest, but let me share this with you. Live life now. Plan for the future, but I need you to live for it today. So the petty arguments, the petty uh, feuds that you have, listen, nobody wins when the family feuds. I need you to drop your pride. Go to the person that you're not in a good space with and make it right. Because it's sad that during death, I'm gonna look at a situation and a picture in a clear lens. Why? Because something has grabbed our attention. Don't make death grab your attention to love the people that you really need to love. You never know what people are going through. You never know what's going through somebody's mind. You never know what people are contemplating with. So I want you to do this. Drop petty arguments because there are no redos in this thing we call life. Get it right now. Life is too short. I like to say it like this, life is so long, 
but yet so short. And I want to share with you, you are worth it. Drop the pride. You guys are so amazing. I want to say thank you for watching this video. It's because of you that we're able to reach the masses, and that's to empower the world to never give up. You're helping us with our mission. Listen, I'll see you next week. Grace and peace.